What's up, what's up? Big Dave here with Family Dream Homes in Bowling Green. Hey guys, I just want to take you on another exciting home tour today. Today we're going to be touring a Deer Valley home. Uh, it's called the Oasis. It is a brand new home that they just revealed a couple weeks ago at the Biloxi, Mississippi show. It's uh, three bedrooms, two baths. It's about 1,920 square feet. It's got all the new colors, the new cabinetry in it. Uh, it's got a new tub in there. You guys aren't going to miss this tour, so stick around. What's up, YouTube family? How y'all doing today? Y'all ready for another home tour? I know I am. All right, today we're looking at the Oasis by Deer Valley Homes. Brand new home, just hit the market. Uh, they just did a big reveal on it down here at the Biloxi, Mississippi show just a couple weeks ago. Uh, we have one at our lot set up for you guys to tour. Uh, this house right now, also, great thing about it is, you could buy it right off our lot. You don't even have to wait for it. You can be the first one to own this house. So. Uh, just coming across the front here for you real quick. Beautiful white windows with the cedar shutters on it. Got to love those croft windows. All right, we'll come on down here. Got these nice windows right off the living room right here. Let's in a lot of nice, nice natural light. You see, got the white grid lines in the windows. Looks awesome. Got a receptacle right here by the front door. Got the coach, the coach stagecoach light right there on the, by the front door. Now, as you can see, this home right here does not have the rock on it or uh, the wood features as far as like the decorative trim. All those things can be added on if you order your home that way. So they have a ton of different options for the exterior of the home. Just kind of pan around so you can see the whole front of it all the way across. Uh, super easy to tie into that up there and do your porch, come right off of that uh, and close the front of it. Look really, really nice. I'm gonna come on around here, as I said earlier, this home is three bedrooms, two baths. This is around 1,920 square feet. It's got a lot of nice, nice features to it. Uh, they brought out a bunch of new colors. All the builders, every beginning of the year, they come out with new colors and options and things like that. So this home right here has a lot of those. So I'm gonna come on around to the side for you. We'll head to the back. Coming around the back corner of the house right here, that window right there that you see, it's coming off the master bath. A really nice look to it. We'll come around the back corner here. This house is set really, really high, so it's kind of hard to see. As you can see here, two more windows right there, so it really lets in a lot of natural light. Got a transom window up here at the top, if you can see it. All right, and come on down here. Got your fresh water connections, electric connection. Got your kitchen window right here. Nice, got that cream style window on it again. Got a drop down right there for your look for your uh, wastewater coming out. Got a receptacle right here. Two more windows right off the back here. This is gonna be coming off of the off of the uh, sitting area here, the living room. Got the white back door. It's the white nine light, as you can see. Beautiful windows. Comes with the storm door. Got the stagecoach light up there. Looks very, very nice. Got more of your, your tags for your connections right there coming through, show you. Got a receptacle, not a receptacle, a faucet rather, <laughs> right here. Your frost is, uh, faucet. So right there on the back of the home for you. All right, let's go around front and take a tour. Y'all ready to take a tour of this awesome home? Can't wait for you to see the inside of this. It's gonna be awesome, you're gonna love it. Y'all come on in, let's take a tour. Wow, I just love, love, love the feel of this house. You pan around here to the living room, kind of come back towards the kitchen. Don't worry, don't worry, we'll go in there in just a second. I can't let y'all get in there just yet. We gotta, we gotta look at other places first. All right, this is coming off to kind of give you an idea of kind of where we are. It's coming from the front door right here, kind of panning around, all the way around the living room here as you come in the door, over into the dining area, back into the kitchen. 
Now this house here, they've put a lot of new features in that Deer Valley is going to be doing. That's the master. We can't go there yet. We got to wait just a minute. So we're going, we'll go there. I promise you. <laughs> so as you can see, I'm going to paint around this kitchen for you. I'm going to go ahead and highlight the kitchen because we're right here at it. Now, if you guys can see this or not, but this has Deer Valley's brand new flat black cabinet hardware. You can see that right there. See how that looks? It looks awesome, especially against this white. Of course, they're awesome cabinets, solid maple cabinets, soft clothes hinges on everything, adjustable. Got these big cabinets right here, right by the oven, the stove. So got plenty of storage up here for all your goodies, especially if you guys are out there in your bakers and like to cook a lot. You got a lot of room, a lot of storage for that. But check this out. Look at this black cabinetry. They're just bringing this to the market for us. I mean, isn't that awesome? Nice, nice color on it. And they went with a two-tone hardware on that. So you can see that's kind of that brushed metal kind of look to it. It kind of stands off against that black, so it looks really, really good. Got your vented hood range right there for you. Plug in for your microwave. You're plugged in. As always, using the nice Frigidaire appliances. Smooth top, cook top right here. The oven combo as well. Now check out this new tile backsplash. It's a new color they just brought to the market. Check this out. Isn't that awesome? And of course, tons of receptacles, as usual. They do a great job about that. And uh, people keep calling me while I'm doing these tours. It just, they just can't get enough, I guess. I don't know. So, all right. I'll come around there. You can see this is a brand new countertop color they just brought out. You can see it with the sunlight shining on it or not. It's got your black sprayer sink right there black faucet got your stainless farm sink now remember this house you can get these this house with the black stainless appliance in it as well if you're a big fan of that i just love this window right here this thing's huge got all kinds of space and both those sides open up for it just it's awesome all right i'm gonna bring you to another new countertop color they just brought out check out this island isn't that pretty that is an unbelievably nice look. If you guys can see this or not, kind of how well the camera kind of shows it because we don't have any lights on in here, so it's kind of hard to, to see at the moment. We don't have it wired just yet. But look at all these cabinets all the way down. Got your black full extension maple drawers. Cabinets all soft close. And you got, let's count them, one, two, three, four, five, six sets all the way across there, across the bottom of the island. So really, really nice. All right, I'm gonna pan up here so you can see this new island light right here, this new pendant they have. It's got a really nice, cool kind of industrial look to it. Old world school look, it's kind of really, really nice. Got the cedar ends on the island for you, as you can see right here. Nice, nice with the receptacle there. You can fit, I mean, four bar stools, chairs, very easily on this island right here, if you can see this or not, but you can see how many you can fit on there. It's It's got tons and tons of space. Now, my favorite feature about the kitchen is this new vaulted ceiling that they're doing. Check this out. See, it's got that shiplap all the way down, not just in little sections. It's got the weatherwood beams. I think it's got the, the ash, um, you know, kind of planks going up there. So it gives it a real nice look. Look at these cool can lights. Kind of goes with it. They got the black flat ring around them. So it really goes with that hardware. I'm gonna kind of pan you back here like we're going over back towards the stove. Kind of give you an idea of how that all looks in the grand scale. It looks so awesome. I mean, it really, really sets off this kitchen and really makes it pop. All right, I'll pan it back around here to your dining area. It'll fit a very good size table here. The table we got in here is just a six person setup. But as you can see, between that chair and the wall over here, you got all kinds of space. So you can really have a nice big table. And check out this extra storage cabinet right here. Bring that nice wood barn look in here with these nice wood shelves, uh, cedar shelving on there. You got two of those big shelves. Plus you got that island countertop, just like the island has right there at the bottom. Got these big base cabinets. So you can put a, you know, a lot of stuff down in there, a lot of storage area. Just really, really nice. Bullnose corners on the drywall, as you can see, the rounded corners on here. It's a very nice, high-end feel to it. All right, I'm going to try to stay out of the mirrors as much as I can, but 
We're gonna come right here into this first guest bedroom so you can kind of get a look. Very good size. Now this home here features the perimeter air, as you can see the vent in the floor over there. Um, it can be a, you know above the on the ceiling. Um, you have a fire alarm in the room right there in every room. There's your overhead crossover. It allows the air to flow between the halves of the house um, as effortlessly, effortlessly as possible. Uh, so I can't talk today, um, but it kind of gives you an idea. It, it allows you not to have uh, doors that are, you know, if you were familiar with the older manufactured homes, you had these doors that were really, really short. You could like, you know, it's almost stick your arm underneath them. Well, because of this technology, the way these things work, um, this air duct system, it allows the doors to be your standard length, standard height. So you don't have to worry about, you know, going out and ordering a, a custom door that's cut short or anything like that. If you ever have to replace it or you decide to do a change down the road, this is coming right off that first guest bedroom right here into the hallway. Got a nice little kind of coat closet. You can do this as a extra, you know, pantry storage if you wanted to. Put you some extra shelves in there, do linen shelves. Uh, got lots of different kind of options for that. All right, we're going to come into guest bedroom number two here. And as always, I'll post the size for all these rooms on here so you can kind of see, get an idea. All right, got your standard light up there. Now, you can have ceiling fans installed um, if you so choose. Some people choose to do them, some people don't. Um, they're wired and braced, so you can go back. Even if you don't want one from the factory, say you don't like the color that they offer or something like that, or you have a specific one you want to do, um, they're already braced and wired for a ceiling fan, so they'll hold the weight. So you can go kind of pick out what you want and install your own fans if you so choose. Another nice closet right there. Of course, storing some goodies in there as usual. Um, got the crossover air duct vent right there for you. And fire alarm. Also want to point out all these rooms have the crown molding on them and the baseboards in the linen white. So you can see plenty of receptacles around here. All right. So we're going to swing back out of this bedroom here. We're gonna come into the guest bathroom. All right, so this is at the end of the hall. So, and see me in the mirror. Hello, what's up? All right, we're gonna spin around. I'm gonna show you kind of where this, this bathroom is in relation to the rest of the house. So there's a hallway that comes down into guest bedroom one and two, and the kitchen's right down there, okay? So when you come into this bathroom, you're coming straight down to the end of the hallway. So it's very easy for guests to see kind of, hey, this is where to go. Don't be wandering through my house. <laughs> the bathroom's right there. You don't have to, you know, don't worry about that stuff. Now, this vanity kind of style, as you can see, he's got the cabinet right there, but all the drawers, all four of them, are oversized drawers. They're very deep, so I'm going to open this up so you can kind of get an idea. The top one's a little, little smaller than the bottom, but still very deep. You can see my hand, you know, it fits my whole hand down in there very easily. And here's the bottom ones. See, the bottom ones is a little bit bigger, a little deeper, but you got four of those drawers on this countertop right here. Got the porcelain sinks. And check out the flat black faucets. I love that. It's such a cool look. It's very clean and crisp with the white. It just stands out, looks great. Got the black drain in there as well in the porcelain sinks. Uh, just It just looks phenomenal. Here's the new handles as well. You can see that right there, the flat black handles. Looks amazing. All right, I'm gonna back out here a little bit. Now, Another cool thing about this bathroom is a lot of people don't know, obviously, because we haven't seen this house yet, but there's your tub shower right there. I'm going to go ahead and show that to you. Got that nice oversized tub and shower, one-piece combo. Of course, the throne room for the king and queen right there. Got the flat black faucet handles right there. Spigots off the tub. Got the nice shower head up here, which you can't really see because there's curtains in the way, but there you go. All done in that flat black. So they're sticking to it. Even the hinges. Check it out. Even the hinges. Even the hinges are flat black. I mean, they're really talking about sticking to it and really going with the scheme. It really looks good. All right. So coming off of this bathroom, so you guys can see, we're going to come right out here and voila, utility room. You're like, what? Yeah, exactly. It is a Jack and Jill style bathroom and utility room combo. So I'm gonna come around here and kind of pan back around for you to kind of see what I'm talking about. Now, this utility room has the farm sink option in it as well. The cool new black, flat black faucet right here. So you can check that out, kind of old pump style, like pump handle style. You got two cabinets right there, as you can see. 
really really cool nice storage over here check this out same island countertop but look at that laundry basket storage you can put your laundry baskets in there god i wish i had this in my house right now <laughs> so uh very nice just having that space to put that um and this right here will accommodate a pretty good size washer and dryer now if you're like some folks out here that's bought the industrial size ones the oversized um all you have to do um, is remove this countertop right here kind of out of the way um, and that gives you that entire wall for those oversized units if you need them um, of course you got this nice shelf around here it's the wood shelf all the way down and around got your crown moldings even in the utility room it looks great got your furnace right here as you can see furnace system Easy access panel right there. Got the recess in the wall for your dryer vent so you're not, you know, jamming into the wall and your dryer sticking out six, eight inches from the wall. Got your breaker box right there. Come out of there. All right, so when we come out of this room, you go into the dining area, back out into the rest of the house. Now, I did miss a closet over here. I meant to show y'all a while ago. It's my fault. I completely missed it because I walked right past it while I was showing another one. But this is in that main hall going down to the guest bathroom. But right here, I have another closet. It's all linen shelving for towels, wash rags, clothes, and baskets, whatever you guys want to put in there, okay? All right. So now, the moment y'all have been waiting for, let's head down here and see what Deer Valley is doing in the master bath. All right. Of course, I don't know if you can see this or not. But I don't know if I showed it real well a while ago, but we're off this kitchen right here. Got this big old pantry. Look at that. Got all kinds of room in there. You can put a small freezer in there underneath the shelving. Got three big, long, deep shelves. So that's just right off the kitchen. So you can't, can't miss it. So as you can see, here's your kitchen right here. Cabinetry stove. Boom. There's that pantry for you. All right. So let's go in here into the master. Show you what it's all about. This room is a very very good size room it's i mean it's got a lot of space in it you see those two big windows coming into it so you can see a lot of nice natural light coming in you got your crown moldings as you can see right there sorry about my camera it's kind of having a fit since there's no light in here right now so it's kind of having to adjust constantly so i'm sorry if the footage is not grandioso got receptacles all the way around Around the room right here. I'm going kind to of pan around so you can see them all. We've got a bunch of receptacles. All right. So coming around here to the master bath. Can't wait to show you this master bath. You're going to love this. Got the new barn door right there. New color on that. Nice barn door coming into the master bath with the track system on it. Now check out this tub. Look at this thing. Deer Valley has got a claw foot tub option. And it, when I say claw foot, it's, it's got that real authentic claw foot look to it, as you can see down there. And this is a very good size tub. So it gives you a lot of space. You can see right here, streamlined little jet right there. And check out the faucet over here. Look at this, freestanding off this platform down here. You can see, kind of built up, really, really cool. It's got the separate sprayer wand on it where you can kind of rinse off. Got these beautiful windows right beside it here so you can get an unbelievable view. I mean, this is just such a nice, nice view, but it's below the tub or above the tub. So you don't have to worry about while you're sitting in the tub, somebody seeing you or anything like that. So it's got a really nice look to it. I'm kind of painting down here so you can see the size of this thing. This is a really good size tub. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to pan back around so you can see the vanities over here. See how big this is? You have your little center area right there. If you wanted to put another mirror or a vanity mirror or a little stool for the for the you know the ones like to do the makeup and all that good stuff, you got plenty of for that, plenty of room for it. Got two beautiful mirrors right there. Obviously, we got to put some lights in here to kind of lighten this thing up a little bit. Got nice big drawers, uh, big cabinetry down here, plenty of storage. As you're going to see, Deer Valley really does a good job of uh, use of space and using those you know using those cabinets. Now this piece right here, it's on the counter and everybody's looking at it going, what in the world is this? This piece right here goes to this tub over here, okay? So 
when you get the tub all put together and set up and everything like that, this piece kind of sits across it like so. It's kind of like an activity center, okay? It's really, really cool when it's all put together and everything like that. But this will give you kind of an idea of what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back over here on the bathroom counter for it. But, all right, so got a brand new shower I wanted to show you here too from Deer Valley. And they've got some other features that's not shown in this house that they're just adding a new, um, you know, faucet system like sprayer system in here. So I want to give you an idea kind of what this looks like. It's got that very nice industrial kind of like um, that concrete kind of look to it. Looks really, really cool. Got your shampoo holder rack right there. Um, black hardware as well. Got a can light right over top of it. And you got your overhead crossover right there. And check out this door. I like these doors, man. These are, and they're big, so they're not narrow and tiny. If you can see the hinge points way over here. So the majority of this door is past the hinge points. So fully open, you can see this is a, it's a really big door. You've got a lot of space getting in and out. Be really uh, handy, especially if you have somebody that's elderly that needs to trans, you know, transfer in there via chair or something like that. Um, it's very, very low lips, so it'd be very easy. Got your uh, private throne room right here as well. It's pretty bad that we have to put do not use in all the toilets, but <laughs> we run into that problem. All right, so here's the master closet. Comes right off the bathroom right here in between the shower and the toilet area. And you have a doorway here with all these nice shelves in it. Really, really awesome. Got this all around, got the transom window in here, so it really lets in a lot of natural light. Got plenty of storage, uh, water heaters right there behind that panel, so it's close to the master bath. So when you're going to take baths and showers, you don't have to worry about it kind of, you know, taking forever for your water to get hot for you because it's right here real close to you. So that's one of the big advantages of it. But guys, this right here is the Oasis by Deer Valley Homes. Uh, brand new to the, to the market. Uh, so excited to be able to get a tour of it and show you guys. And like always, you know, it's available here at our Bowling Green lot. We got it set up uh, for you guys to come walk through right now, uh, take a look at it. And like always, just, you know, like, subscribe, share this friend to, uh, content to your friends. Uh, be sure to hit that notification bell and uh, come out and see us. Thanks for watching, guys. sticking around and taking another home tour with me today. If you'd like more information about this home, uh, check the link in the description down here. Also, if you'd like some, uh, some other stuff, like other footage or have questions about some things, be sure to leave me comments. Those things are very, very important. I check every one of them. People that have sent me comments uh, on different videos, I've always responded to them and I'll always do my best to get back with you and answer your questions. So uh, everybody has questions. I do when I go out, I'm a customer too. So um, I've always got questions about stuff. So don't, don't be shy, feel free to hit me up and I'll be more than happy to help you out. Um, as always, come out here and visit us at the Bowling Green location. Uh, this is the only location you come meet me at, so you got to come out here to see me. Uh, we were voted the number one retail center in all of Kentucky for 2022. Um, we're in the running for it for 2023 already, and we're Deer Valley's number one retail center in the entire United States, two years in a row now. So uh, we have a really great relationship with them guys. Um, we have a ton of Deer Valley homes set up out here. We have Champion, Cavalier, Fleetwood, uh, some True Homes. We've got just a ton of inventory. I think we got about 32 houses right now uh, set up for you guys to come out, walk through, take you know, try them on for size, as I say, and uh, get a feel for them. So, but guys, I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I really do appreciate all the support and all the love that I've been shown out there, and all the good advice and the good questions and stuff. Uh, so come out here and visit me. We're at 4420. Russellville Road, Bowling Green, Kentucky. Uh, come out here and we'll shake hands, tell some stories. We'll have a good time. I promise we'll take you good care of you. So, guys, until next time, talk to you soon.